Hello, everybody. Razor here. I'm going to paint a new portrait. Okay, I'm going to start using bristle brushes. I got here. I hope you will see the colors. Yeah. I got here Titina White, Naples Yellow, Camium Orange, Camium Red. Kainokidon uh, Rose, and I'm missing Raw Umber, and the last one is Ivory Black. Okay, let's start sketching. Okay, now let's see. I got here, this is the bigger one I have, number seven. Okay, just a little bit of raw umber. Okay, and let's see. Uh, oh, I always simplify what I see, I try to kind of uh, put hair inside some geometrical, simple geometrical shape, like for example, I see one side of the head, the arm, and I think about this. Okay, now top of the head, now here. Okay, now the other arm, the elbow, arm. Okay, and I, I, I'm squinting down my eyes, okay. I see obviously hair head around here, and I see a shape here between her hand, arm, and uh, I don't know what, what, what is this, but here. Okay. This dark shape. Okay. I keep squinting. Yeah. That's good. Now. Uh, let's see just the face I do the same I just want to see first the overall shape okay I want to check out the alignment with my photograph top bottom okay that's good I'm squinting keep squinting okay I see the hand is around here top of the fingers. One finger is here. I check out the ear just next to the hand. The eye just going down from the hand like this and going down to the other ear. Okay let's check out how tilted are the eyes. Okay now the center line of the face that I see a lightman for example let's say that this is the eye okay I check out the corner of the mouth eye corner of the corner of the mouth nose I squint and I see if you do that you squint your eye you're gonna see this shape okay here okay uh, by the way, this is a painting for, let me see, name, Chia She, and the name of her daughter is Chiu Wei, yeah, it's for, for, for Taiwan. Oh, hello, Monique, hello, Barry Kit, uh, hello, Lian, hello, Ludmilla, hello, Ben. Oh, Beer Kid is saying that uh, it's painting a portrait too. Oh, that's pretty good. Hello, Linda. Hello, Sharon. Oh, thank you. Hello, Crazy. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's see. Uh, everything dark here. I got this. 
Well, I'll try to draw this the strips that we see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, something like that. One bigger one here. Another one here. good enough oh I forgot to do something I usually uh, just I, I use Photoshop to darken up the photograph when I don't see too many values and I'm doing that right now forget to do it just darkening up the photograph to be able to see more shadows and lights on the face Okay. Now I got it here. Okay. You can see more clearly now. More values, obviously, when I make everything darker, is because I want to see more values. I wanna, I wanna put the photograph here. Yeah, just for a little bit, just to for everybody to, to be able to see what I have here, okay? Okay, this one. This is a darker ver version. Okay, I don't have any room to keep it here, but now you know what, I'm using both. One picture and the other one, the darker one, the darker one is the, the one that I'm gonna use maybe more. But it's usually a combination, but more because it's, it's more clear that is shadow here, shadow here, and another thing obviously the whole head is something rounded okay and usually the values uh, and when the light is kind of like this like frontal frontal light yeah I think it is yeah so the light is in the middle and it's going to the sides just getting darker and darker okay what about uh, the background? I was thinking to paint it like some light blue, like a sky, but uh, you no, know, I'm not sure. Another thing is about if I paint this light, this is gonna be what? I can be, make it this like a, a tree, maybe a branch. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. One second, I'm sending a message to, to the person that asked me for the portrait. I'm asking her to let me know if she got some particular, you know, uh, some idea about the background. For me, I'm gonna paint the background just basically just white and, and blue. I need blue. I'm gonna mix white, black, and cover blue. color I think the color is okay now let's paint 
just one I'm gonna use just one color for the for the face like uh, I might I'm gonna think that this is just flat and on top of this I'm gonna add you know lights and mid-tones they say no this is a mid-tone let's say I'm gonna add on top of this lights and shadow darker okay let's see squinting checking the relationship between the face and the hand or the brush just for raw umber Even though there is not too much what you see here, uh, uh, what I, I love to do obviously is got, uh, let's say all the colors, obviously the, uh, we don't see the colors here, but let's say that is uh, at least what I have here is what I need in terms uh, of the skin color and the background, that's going to be the effect, the skin color. And obviously, I'm not gonna paint the, the chairs and all of that. Okay, let's see. Now, I'm gonna draw just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna draw the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Okay, let's see. Hello, Gary. Hello, Michael Bleeving. Ble Just give me about the colors. Okay, I got here titanium white, Naples yellow, cadmium orange, cadmium red, canoculum rose, raw umber. No, not more raw umber. Okay, uh, ivory black, and the last one is copper blue. Okay. I'm mixing rubber and orange, a touch of red. Uh, let's draw the feature of the face. Okay, one eye. Uh, uh, first, check out the hand. Okay. Yeah, I wanna draw first the hand. Since it's closer to my to the photograph to my left. Okay. Now from here, I can move. The one eye and the other eye. Okay. Okay, let's move to the nose. Okay, I you all know that I just I, I measure all the time and I check out always proportions. Uh, like one of the proportions I, I use is uh, the distance from the eyebrows to 
the, the nose and the chin. I keep repeating that and I keep using that. Okay, now, let's see. I need to see um, the overall shape of the face. Okay. Stepping back, squinting. Okay. Now the nose is so the nose is pretty transparent. I mean, what I mean is I don't we don't see like a really dark, uh, you know, color for the nostrils. The only dark values that we see is uh, for the eyes. Here, eye here, and corner of the mouth here and here. Okay, we don't see more any darker value. Now, pay attention to that because sometimes, I mean, we don't see a darker value, but we need to see it sometimes. And that's one of the reasons that sometimes we tend to just add a darker, adding a darker value. And in order to see the tears, when there's no details, there's no details, okay? Don't try to add things that you don't see. If we just pay attention to values, I see the nose, but it's a really light shadow. Okay. I mentioned that because I have seen so many times that we see the photograph and when we paint, we do something like this, for example. We paint the nostril like really dark, even dark, you know. And we think that's good because we see the nostril, you know, but it's not like that. It's pretty clear what we see on the photograph. It's not darker. And sometimes uh, we add even more, even, even, even darker, and because we want to see the tears. And when we do that, we kind of, uh, you know, kill the softness of the face. Adding more color. We know that the nose is a bit more reddish, the cheeks, the chin. But I think I need to add I need to add more color to the whole skin because my skin is it's kind of grayish, greenish. Sometimes I, I like that color as a base and I put more paint on that. But for today, I don't think that's going to work. Hello, Aumio Tan. Thank you, Ivan. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I'm taking my time, you know. <laughs> I am checking, I am squinting, checking. I'm hitting again. No, okay. Mm. Let's see, um, this uh, hair, what well, sweater, you know, is 
jacket or I don't know where's, where is that uh, looks like white is white with black stripes okay now but white white is gonna be just what what portion here okay we gotta choose you know and I'm gonna add the same value to every everywhere first obviously there are some areas that are in shadow you know uh, and on top of that there is some areas that we need to in order to create a focal point you know we need to just enhance a little bit more okay let's say that I'm gonna just pure white and maybe the pure white is gonna be just here okay the highlight there and maybe the highlight that is going down here and here okay just that okay let me think there there what else you know all the other values are going to be a bit darker than, than this one okay that's going to be the lightest value on the whole paint maybe not even a highlight on the face i don't see any highlight on the face but we always can add a highlight you know like a highlight on the nose like this that's a nice touch Okay, but let's see, I mean, it's too early in the process to lay down a highlight. Okay, I got that. Now, where's going to be the next light? It could be here. Do you all think that pure white is going to be okay? No, I don't think so. It's some grayish color. Okay, I'm going to mix this white with a touch of black, a touch of raw umber. It looks pretty close okay looks pretty close to white I'm gonna add more black and raw umber I don't want this to look kind of uh, bluish but let's see I you know but thinking about, about the sky uh, the, the, the background let's say that's this light blue kind of the sky yeah, I think that's going to work if we got this kind of bluish. Okay, now I need, I need to make it this even darker. Because this portion here is darker. Okay. Now I could work this as a cool color in the shadow. That means that I can push the, the lights and make them a little bit warmer. Yeah, I could do that, yeah. That means that I can add maybe a touch of yellow to the lights. Okay. Now pure black on these strips pure black is going to be yeah, pretty sure here just here okay but where it's getting light that is this portion here this thing is not going to be pure black it has to be some darker but grayish color not black black Okay, pure black here. Let's add some lights to the face. Uh, I need to see more and more, you know, 
the whole uh, image. Uh, I need to create some harmony and I think the blue here and this bluish color creates a perfect harmony. I'm thinking that maybe some violet here and there and maybe some white but with a touch of yellow is going to make the highlights, the lightest ones glow a bit. Okay? Yeah, that's going to add color to the whole painting. Eh? Okay. I'm just seeing and thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm thinking about color. The drawing of the face. I gotta, I gotta get the draw the face, you know. If I don't get it <laughs> now, I'm gonna just get it tomorrow after let it, let it dry in a couple of days. I'm gonna retouch it. I'm gonna get the face. I have to. The likeness, I mean, or or at least pretty close. Okay. Now, kind of thinking about the the whole harmony, the color harmony. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna add some light to the face. You know, I'm thinking, hey, you know, I'm going to add a bit more of kind of a warmer light. I can add a little bit of Naples yellow to get this lighter color with orange. Yeah, that's going to work. I was thinking that, I was thinking, you know, that don't add yellow, Naples yellow jet because it's going to make the light. But then I thought, hey, we got this kind of, you know, warm and cool, uh, contrast I can make the light a little bit warmer okay now another thing that I'm thinking hey wait but the light is not getting any, not getting any light the face is not getting any light any direct light when the face don't get any direct light for sure that the light on the face may be cool remember we got two light sources when somebody's up outside warm light from the sun and cool light from the sky but she's not upside but since I'm changing the environment a little bit I gotta think about that okay now thinking about that I could say yeah, maybe you could add a cooler uh, light okay yeah but I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm gonna go with this one that I have here it's too light okay more orange okay let's see let's see this color now uh, I'm gonna add the light here I'm gonna think about the form of the face you know where we see uh, rounded forms cheeks this one and this one they're rounded I, I gotta get the volume of the cheeks nose the chin okay the whole mouth that is turning okay yeah I gotta stop. This is too light. Well, no, I like it, but I know it's gonna get mixed with the other color. Okay. But mm, maybe it's too light. Okay, okay, okay. Think again. Okay. It's okay if I make it lighter. It's okay if I make the background maybe a bit darker here. And create more contrast on the face. Okay, uh, first, I want to knock down this color a bit, okay? Because I think that's going to be okay to have really brighter colors on the face. But now, I think that's not the, the right time. Okay. A bit 
bit more. Okay, and the upper eyelid is rounded, lower eyelid is rounded, it's like swollen, you know, that's the volume. The eye is an eyeball, the eye is a sphere. We are create that illusion that beneath the skin we see, we can feel it, it's this rounded form. Okay. Little bit of raw amber here. I need to work on the hair. Okay, I need this raw amber. This raw amber is from Rembrandt. I need the one from Winton because it's thicker, it's not a transparent. And I can just get, look at that, a darker color faster. Okay, I'm going to put it here next to the other one. And let's see some questions. I wonder what's the weather is, wait, ah, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, I'm in Lima, Peru. Uh, okay, Gary saying, will you will earn your money on this one? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, getting paid. This, this is a commission. Yeah. There is a commission. There. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scrolling up. See, you got some question. Painting is going to Taiwan. It's going to be a long trip. Okay, let's see. Uh, going back to the face, nose. Okay, light here. Light. As you can see, I usually start just with, let's say, not too many colors in the face. And I end up with not too many colors in the face, but what I want to say is, uh, uh, at the beginning, I don't think about adding more than just the reddish colors on the face, but not any green, violet, you know, we can add a lot of colors on the face. I just... If I, do, I don't use them too many colors, I feel more comfortable painting and drawing at the same time because I don't need to make too many adjustments, color adjustments. It's just at least three, four values in the painting, and that's not too much. Okay, let's see. So here, okay. Oh, let's see, let's see. Okay, the ear. I see something kind of that 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 is kind of off on the ear on the picture. 
I think that's the mask, eh? It's getting on the ear, on this ear, and, and on this ear too. Oh, Gary saying ears and teeth. Yikes. <laughs> eh, it's always, eh, you know, as painters, we don't like, we don't like uh, to paint, you know, teeth. Stepping back, squinting. Yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. I think I need to make this make this eye a little bit smaller. Just soft edges now, just soft edges.
using some other brush. At the same time that I'm blending, I'm moving the paint. Okay, kind of pushing and pulling the paint. See, with the same brush, I'm going to pick up a darker color and I'm going to work on some shadows here. I see a little bit of a shadow here. Let's say that's a mid tone, okay. Clean the brush. the back Okay, uh, the, uh, Gary saying is that a face mask she has dropped down around her neck and chin? Yeah, yeah, it's a mask.
who's printing a commission these days? I got here, I'm gonna be here maybe uh, I don't know, I mean, I got a uh, couple more commissions to paint for here, for you, for, for you know, for uh, to paint on a live stream for Monday and Tuesday. And I got one more that I'm not going to paint on a live stream because it's too big. Let's see, you know, I was trying to find a way to move my setup in a way that put the camera and you're going to be able to see me painting a bigger, a bigger, bigger canvas, but I don't know. I don't know, I'm not so sure yet. Okay, stepping back. And what you all suggest me about this, uh, I don't know what's that, but some restaurant, maybe what I said before, a tree, it could be, it could be better, yeah. Skinny tree. Here I need to get expression because she's, she's smiling. Okay, I see a shadow here. I see a shadow here. Shadow here. Just one second. One second. One second. Sorry, I'm back. You no, know, my mom was calling me. Okay, saying that, I see shadow here. No, something is not okay. I think uh, I gotta just 
something is not okay about the position of the eyes and end with with the position of the mouth. Hmm. My mistake there. Move my camera. I have moved the camera. Okay, okay. Just one second, please. Uh, just checking here. Um, but I need to move something here. Mm. Okay, let's continue. Okay, I got the form the face, the head, one eye, the other eye, the mouth. I got something, I'm just thinking, comparing a lot because I got something wrong here. I don't know what it is, but I just want to just stay seeing. Maybe it's going to be the distance between the eyes and the nose. And I need to move the eyes down, down a bit.
this in a smaller brush, number zero. I'm gonna draw again. I'm going to move the eyes a little bit down. Okay. Maybe a lot down. Just one eye, okay? Let's see. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. Now, the eyebrow. Move to the the other eye. Hello, Ruby. Gary, Gary saying, right, so forget about us, concentrate on your subject. <laughs> okay. messages here on my phone family messages and I cannot skip on them you know I cannot skip on my mom calling me and I cannot skip on my family calling me okay
ended up moving the whole face down. But that was a mistake, you know, because I moved the eyes. I shouldn't move the eyes. It doesn't matter at the end. We gotta do what we gotta do. value for the eyes just need to see because I squint and I don't I'm not able to compare yet okay okay I think that's better Looks like a little boy. Don't worry, don't worry, that's the process. It's gonna change any minute. <laughs> You gotta be careful with all the shadows, with tons, I mean, because we don't see too many shadows. But we get the likeness when we get, obviously the drawing is, is, is pretty accurate. But if the values are off, we're not gonna get the likeness. It doesn't matter how accurate is the drawing. Read some comments. Hello, if lift theory. Hello, Rebecca. Hello. 
el otro premio hello Theodore ok hello Michael on Facebook uh, ok I got some comments here uh, well that's why I prefer sketching before painting this is a stage where I could be very frustrated <laughs> Michael Blee Vin saying that uh, hate I hate it when the proportion are noticeable off. Yeah, hello Wanda, hello Christine. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean it's, it's a combination, you know. I I I, I, mean, I wouldn't say frustration. It's just like uh, we're dealing with something difficult. It's just that. Maybe frustration that's gonna be at the end. If I don't get it at the end, then that's gonna be frustration. But when I'm halfway, I got used to see my painting like this, you know, like everything is is not perfect. Uh, some things are off, and I know that I'm gonna be able to get to the point that I'm gonna like it. But I don't, I, I, I don't say that. And it's gonna be perfect, but I know that I'm gonna get to the point that I'm gonna like it. That's gonna be really close to what I want. Okay, and from there I'm gonna continue just retouching and retouching and retouching until I got the face, I got the likeness. Let's see the nose. Yeah, but you know what happens, you know, when you move one thing, you end up moving more and more and more. Yeah. And I think I made a mistake here when I move the eyes down. I shouldn't move the eyes down. I was just thinking, thinking, thinking a lot. <laughs> and, but that happens. That happens and that happens so many times. What we all hate as painters is painting teeth. Read the comments. Hello, Cisorte. Uh, what kind of oils are you using to dry out the paint? Dry out the paint. I'm just using regular oil paints. The brand is Rembrandt. This one just Winton, and this one is Winton. All the other ones are Rembrandt. Uh, 
Uh, okay. As Michael is saying, I usually draw it in vine charcoal first. Yeah, yeah, that's really a good option. Yeah, but you know, here, here for me is is kind of. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that I'm having a terrific time every time that I paint, you know. But definitely, I enjoy myself. I enjoy just, I enjoy just being here painting, and with all the, with, you know, anything that implies just to be here, facing frustration or anything. But as I said before, I mean. This thing about frustration is something that I have felt so many times, but at the end, when I finish up the painting session, I check out and I see that I, make, I made so many mistakes, and they say, wow. Uh, and, uh, or when I try to fix it again and again, the painting again and again, again and again, and there's no way to fix it. It's, it's kind of, that happens with sometimes with some portraits. I don't know why. You know, some some faces is just like pretty difficult to capture. I'm moving down the head. But we enjoy anyway the painting process. Soften a little bit of paint, smooth out a little bit, but just uh, my intention is first to smooth out the paint and then start to work on some sharp edges. Because when we uh, paint, we definitely we got a pretty clear brush stroke. And sometimes it looks like we're using a pencil. Okay, but remember that everything here is about values. We're gonna get some sharp edges in some areas just to help you know, values, the values to get the volume. But for, for example, I I would like to keep a brush stroke like this, like I'm doing here, and just leave it like that. Okay, I prefer, first I do that and then I soften this. And then I can think, you know, I'm gonna make this sharp, but maybe just here on the corner, or maybe just here just a little bit okay and that's gonna be a combination you know balance between soft and sharp edges mm, let's see the teeth see here uh, one some definition here I think that's good yep now here okay there
this brush the I just in, I use for blending is just is dying. You know, it's getting to the point that uh, maybe I'm gonna stop using this in the next week. I need to find new brushes in order to get a couple of them to this stage because I don't have any of the brush like this one which I love it we could use any brush for blending any soft brush you know that got to the stage that is all flayed out like this one that they have I prefer that you know but I have seen painters just painting with really pointy brushes and blend a lot and that's amazing yeah but for me I prefer just to have a, a tool that makes things easier a thin brush is a good option too I need to get some really nice soft thin brush Oh, this is something pretty nice. Uh, Gary saying, I think we all paint for the challenge, and then the reward is the sense of accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Hello, Marina Ann. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Michael is saying, It's hard for me to get over the fear of making mistakes. Yeah, definitely that <laughs> the fear is there but you know the, this painting is something that's pretty quiet I usually paint I, I mean I, I painted for years just in one studio or even in a, in a room just just me alone for for hours nobody to critique me no, nobody to say anything about my painting just me and and I remember once I got a small, I rented a small room that I got my easel, I got some, uh, my paintings, a little table, one chair, and just my, my, my bed. And that was, that's all that I needed. I usually, I painted like eight hours, I feel sleepy. I sleep and then I continue again it was kind of uh, that was my routine every day and here uh, you know it's like I got some company company and when I got a question obviously it's like um, having a conversation and that's pretty nice And so many times I got some help when somebody critiqued the painting. And that's pretty good to have a couple of, or more than a couple of eyes, extra eyes, to check out mistakes on, on the painting. You know what I find really tricky about, about this painting particularly? It's the volume on the eyes you know here for example I need to make this look rounded and this portion here and that's the tricky thing about this particular painting because it's it's pretty soft the transition is soft
Okay, what about adding a highlight on the nose? A little bit there. I see a reflected light here. But it's always reflected lights, even when there is, there is, those are pretty subtle, but you know, light bounces everywhere. I need more shadows here for the expression. Okay. Let's read some comment. Let's see. Depending on the painting, but I'd like using the fan brush for blending. I have a few different sizes. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I mean, but a fan brush is smaller like, like, like this one, this brush that they use for blending. I don't know if I'm gonna find one that small. Oh no. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Lee Ann is saying it's so difficult to paint small children. Mine always look older. Yeah, that happens all the time. You know the, uh, what I, I would say about painting children and, and that pay attention to here just the eyes and the nose because they usually are pretty small it's kind of shrink and sometimes we paint the nose longer and that nose a little bit longer makes the face looks like an adult face because adult face faces got has longer noses I'm gonna keep blending and keep adding values. Uh, I use this brush, this is my brush for blending, but at the same time, you know, that I'm gonna blend, I'm gonna keep adding values because just like pick up just few paint, not too much. Okay, make it darker, pick up more, I clean the brush. Okay, I need a bigger brush because this is not, it's not holding too much paint. Okay, this one. Oh, let's see. Okay, a bit more.
darker there to make the face a bit more rounded. Now I don't know how rounded is the face on this on this part this part of the face because because of the mask. Maybe it could be a bit more rounded. Not so sure. I'm gonna try to copy just thinking that the face end up where is the mask the mask. Okay? Uh, like let's say around here. Let's see. And the, no, no, a little bit, a bit, a little bit up, because the chin is kind of pointy. Okay. <laughs> Leanne is saying, I just tried to do a lot of dogs and cats. <laughs> okay. okay, we love dogs, dogs and cats. Hello, Nikki. Uh, not again. Okay, I'm gonna check out the eyelid, Gary. Light here. I try to create to create more volume. When I say more volume, I mean that I'm trying to add a bit of contrast, like making the shadows or this this subtle mid tones a bit darker, 
and the lights a bit lighter. But everything is just about subtleties on this portrait because I, I don't we don't see them much. We gotta squint our eyes a lot. For example here I need to make it lighter and lighter and here too. Okay, the same for the chick here. I'm making this shadow a bit darker. Oh, I did it once, twice, and it's just like after a few minutes I see it again and it's gone paint the hair a little bit dark just just raw umber
you see a little bit of light here. get some combination between soft and sharp edges on the face okay I'm gonna soften it for first here because I don't want to see like a, a lot of detail on the eye I don't want to see the definition of the iris okay But the thing is, how much of that definition I we need on the painting? Uh, for this, we gotta just paint, kind of paint and erase, paint and erase. For this eye, for example, I'm gonna mix raw umber and a little and clean some. simple. I'm gonna just make it darker here and a little bit sharp just there. Okay and then the corner of the eye just there okay. Now the other eye the same. Sharp. Sharp here. <clears throat> and a little bit with more red where is the nostril here no no not done obviously I just uh, <clears throat> I want to see the eyes the likeness from a distance <clears throat> but not the likeness that that's gonna be about making that tiny tiny little details it's just about putting emphasis on some accents on the face, okay? Especially, obviously, on the eyes. Now that I'm working on the eyes. We're gonna pick up black, pure black. Uh, I'm gonna add just an accent here, okay? Here too. I clean the brush. brush and add a touch of light for the white of the eye you have to see I'm going to try to soften that somewhere <coughs> just one second please
Okay, let's continue. Okay, I get this uh, too much light here. I need light in that area, but you know, you, you gotta see the whole face. Uh, where do you see the lightest light on the whole face? To be honest, I don't see it anywhere. It's not. It's not a simple. Looks just looks like the latest lights are just the white of the eyes or, or the teeth. Well, this portrait is not a simple. You know. What I used to do, which is another thing, I, I used to add a highlight on on the nose to make the nose pop. Okay, I used to do that even when I don't see it. here, light here, more light, it's getting rounded, can, can, you, can you feel that, that, that it's kind of swollen a little bit? I'm squinting, I'm trying to see that, okay? Step back. Okay. One thing, I gotta got spread this shadow here in the corner a little bit. This darker. Now I need that I'm gonna narrow the face a bit. Just a little bit, okay. to add a mid-tone here to make this portion rounded okay a little bit of more light here See more light all here. I think that's a reflected light. I mean, definitely it's a reflected light. how much of this reflected light I need here and what about his color the color or, or temperature of this reflected light okay I got a bit more a bit more let's see I got the reflected light there I got light here I got light here and this light is going down this portion of the face. Now, uh, squint out your eyes a lot. More reflective lights. Light, bu light bounces, you know, if there is shadow there. But usually if you study a sphere, 
you're going to see that the light is coming from one side, and then you got a mid-tone, then you got a shadow, you got a coarse shadow, then a darker mid-tone, and then the reflected light. You know, I think that there has to be a reflected light here. Now, the thing is, this is pretty tricky because it could affect, obviously, the the value that we have here, which is a darker value. We gotta be pretty careful that we create a reflected light, but we still got a shadow here. Just like exactly when you practice and shade a sphere. Okay, practice practice drawing and shading a sphere is a must because especially when somebody wants to paint portraits because we got a lot of spherical forms on the face. Now, I'm checking just this eye. Where is his shadow? Definitely, there has to be some shadow here. I mean, obviously, it's a mid-tone. Why? Because the eye is something rounded. Now, here, definitely, for the same reason. And it gets lighter as it goes around the lower eyelid. Or let's say the eye back here. Okay. Now again, for this eye, uh, definitely this here is darker. Yeah, we got I got this dark. I got I need to darken up here a bit more. Like we cannot escape on those values. These are responsible to for the face to look around it, and when the face look around it, you're getting closer to the likeness. Okay, there's no likeness without values. No, nothing. Not even painting an apple. If you don't copy the values, you're not gonna get the volume. Now, about the skin color, some advantage that I have, obviously, that I'm planning to, to paint, to retouch this painting when it dries. And it's not like I'm gonna, I, I'm planning, obviously, to get more than 50% done in one session. Okay. And maybe, I hope, uh, sometimes I, I try to finish up a painting, you know, but in this case that we I have the hand and I have uh, the jacket uh, how do you say this jacket sweater you know too many things to be able to to finish up the painting just in one session another thing is this uh, tube or I don't know what I don't know what is this that definitely we gotta change that okay no, about the hand, the other hand, I see a little finger here, or let me see, this, this, around here, okay, okay, now, let me know, uh, let me check out, let me check out, maybe I got a message from the, okay, let me know, please, uh, what was the name? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me check out your name. Chia. Chia, let me know, please, if that's okay if I paint. Uh, 
no, a tree, a branch. Oh, I'm checking here on YouTube and hey, don't forget to press the like button, please. And the same on Facebook. The Rajal is saying, can you give us a tip, tips on how to achieve a perfect match of shade and color, like the one on the reference. Wow, my God, that's the, that's the tricky part. I mean, it's been, I've been here for, the, for a couple of hours just trying to match the values on the face. Especially, it's more difficult, you know, what I would say, what I could recommend is practice from really high contrast photograph, where you can see light and shadow and you see the definition between light and shadow now one thing we we are kind of uh, avoid sometimes those images because of the darker values because that means that we're going to need to mix darker colors and we hate sometimes when those darker colors kind of pollute or make the other colors just muddy we cannot avoid that okay we cannot we have to deal with darker colors. We have to practice. And for practicing, you know, it's better if you pick up and photograph where you see light and shadow. And it's pretty clear, like a Rembrandt painting. Those are the ones that we usually practice when we study art. All, everything, all of them are just about that. I remember when I was a student, you know, every portrait that I drew or painted, it was always the same. High contrast, even a still life, everything, everything, every day. Okay? Why? Because values are the thing, and when we get used to see the form, you know that when we see shadow, we see the form. The form shows itself clearly when we got, when we, we have darker shadows, okay? Then, then by repetition, we, 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 try, we, we start to memorize a lot of the things that we see. That's, that's normal. We just like reading something a hundred times. You know, but painting, we need a thousand times to, to remember. But the thing is that we start to remember things about light and shadows, and with the combination that we got from practicing you know daily 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 the basic forms the primary forms you all know the primary forms you know the sphere the cube the box the, 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 the cylinder when we practice how we shade a primary form we are an advantage when you're when we are about to shade anything because immediately we we know how, how to shade something spherical and you know when I explained on, the, on this face how, why I'm not in the shadow here in, in a reflected light? Okay, some of the things that I mentioned is because of my knowledge about the form. It's not because I see those so clearly on the picture, on the photograph. For sure, sometimes we don't see all the values so clearly on the photograph. That's why we need knowledge to be able to, to see a bit more. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Hello, Nikki. Mm. Okay. I didn't get any answer from Chi, Chi what, shall we, Chi, sorry, maybe I, obviously I'm mispronouncing her name. Okay, I'm gonna move this up.
want to work a little bit on the on the hem. I just want to add some sharp edges here to get the definition of the hand. Okay. Just there and then I'm gonna blend here. Okay, but I keep this sharp edge here to make the, the you know to create this kind of the knuckle here. About the same here. kind of tree yeah. yeah I think that's gonna be better like chasing nature okay a lot of work to do here some lights for the knuckles. Okay, a little bit of light here.
Okay, let's see. I think that's enough with the hand. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I need to, I don't know, the painting is going to be just, oops, 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 just there, a little bit there, yep, okay, I'm going to paint the background a little bit, uh, I'm not done with the face, of course, but I think I have done a lot, paint a little bit of the background. White, black, and cobalt blue. I need to get some bigger brushes. darker here Okay, I'm going to start adding some color, like for example a little bit of violet or purple on the shadows, okay, here on the black and with a little bit of white here. Do some touches.
Okay, let's see the comments. Scrolling up. Oh, oh, hello, Marilu. Oh, that's my wife. If she's here, it's because I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Let me check out. Okay, let's work on the sweater a little bit while I take you know the rest of my eyes from from the face. Okay. I added a little bit of a sharp edge there. I think the chin is a bit pointy. Mm, not for sure, and I think I'm gonna move this shadow a little bit down. Sharp edge, just a little bit, just to see the nose more clearly. It's gonna be here on this cast shadow. Okay, I'm gonna make it really dark for you all to see what I'm trying to do. I'm not saying that's working. I'm just saying that what I'm trying to do. Okay, now look at this. When we have a sharp edge usually it drives the tension to that area no but it's not just because of that is the intention is just to make the nose pop okay now I need to make some adjustment because it's too reddish and it's too sharp But that's uh, usually the intention, and we can just do this the, the, to the same on more areas, maybe here a little bit. Just a tiny bit, okay? The same way I got here on the lip, sharp edge there. I could have the same here. Okay. We could do the same around the head. Make it sharp and then soft, sharp and soft, sharp and soft. Oh, well, that's Poga. Poga, you know the last one of the last comments. That's my son. 
Oh my God, everybody's asking me for something here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monique is saying, oh, Diane ask, what is your opinion on painting portraits in acrylics first, then oil? Well, I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty good. I think that's something that we need to, if we want to, you know, paint faster, I think that's the way to do it. Because we, I mean, we can paint oil on, on acrylic, that's okay. You cannot paint acrylic on top of oil. Okay. And I have done that a few times when I, I wanted somebody just a painting really fast. Yeah. Another highlight to the nose. Okay, I need some, one of my favorite color, colors lately, I need some ground green, just a little bit to add more color to the face, okay, 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 let's move, no, not yet, obviously, uh, I was painting the, the background. using a thin brush for the hair
Thank you for the non Dari J say like it that you remove the face mask mask. It's making the portrait looks good. Okay, thank you. work okay. let's see pure black a little bit of blue and just for the darker spots here Don't forget, please, don't forget to press the like button. I want to get some soft and sharp edges here. Okay. The only problem when we paint something black, something dark, and some, something light is that the darker color gets into the lighter color, and we know what happens. Yeah? I see light here. Now the thing is, I keep this light just with white, or add a, a little bit of yellow. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow for this one here. Okay, just to make it warmer, okay? Just that in the reflected light from the face. Okay. And right now, and, and just 
uh, paying attention to obviously drawing the strips but temperature okay not any co any uh, white that you add a touch of yellow is going to glow more than just pure white okay and what happens when you do that is that our eyes go there where there is the light where is the yellowish light and i want to concentrate that maybe just here and it move down here but not all over not in, on the lower portion it's going to be closer to the face okay mm. Here too. I need to move the strips a little bit down here. This one is down. This one too. need another brush to what use with white okay just with white this one is gonna be okay I see light here light here Move this down. This is gonna get mixed with this one. I gotta move this down to the other one. I'm moving one by one, a little bit down. That's maybe I shouldn't, you know. It doesn't matter just this to be a little bit up or down. But anyway. I'm gonna get it. Okay.
Whew, getting tired of here. I want to paint as much as possible. Now, uh, oh, I need to paint a bit more right here. Okay, let's see. Or uh, some light here and light here. Okay. Uh, okay, works light here and light. Painting commissions is not easy. But I think we all enjoy the challenge. Yeah. 
you know, what I'm saying is obviously for painters, for the clients, I could say, hey, don't worry, you know, painting is pretty forgiving. You can retouch and retouch again and again until we can fix any mistake. Okay, I'm gonna soften some edges. I'm gonna soften here. Okay, I'm gonna keep it sharp here. Soften here just to just, you know, create some illusion of depth here and here. The same here. Make a soft edge here. Yeah, that's good. A sharp edge here. What I'm trying to do is create some movement here, and the movement is, is created by making some edges pretty sharp, okay, uh, like here for example a little bit and soft here, okay, soft, lost edges. Let's go back to the face.
getting tired, but not hungry. That means that I can just continue. When I get hungry, I stop. But when I get tired, I can just continue. Okay, let's go back to the hair, to the face, and think about more details. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, thank you, Maria Lopez. Let's go back to uh, okay, okay. Oh, the ear here. The ear. It's here, here. Okay, you don't see the match. I think I think this is gonna be something that I'm gonna just paint. Maybe, maybe tomorrow because. Okay, I'm not going to spend a lot of time with the ears, whatever season. Pretty tricky sometimes paint things by memory. I was thinking that maybe while I'm painting, I could share, you know, some stories about, no, no, my stories, you know, about the, the person that I'm painting. What about that? Could it be nice? Eh?
Sharp edge here. I want to leave this kind of soft and blurry on this side. Okay. And here. I think that's okay. Uh, well, it's not perfect, but good enough. Mm -hmm. about the hair. I think the hair isn't good enough, eh? Okay, let's check out the eyebrows. Okay, uh, let's see, is that a bracelet on her wrist? Or it could be, maybe, yeah? yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Sad. Uh, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Hello, Alman Hill. Such as it's just white with napalm yellow. I just add more light this to here, okay? Okay, just there. I'm gonna add more 
now I'm going to think about color for a few minutes. Uh, for example, move a little bit of orange here. Okay. You see there's a cool color there, we can just add
Okay, let, let's check out the values. Okay. Could you keep the post more narrow because of the finger placement? Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. I didn't even notice that. Okay, let's check out values again. I guess green thing, I, I think I need to make darker, make it darker here a little bit. Make it darker here. And darker as it goes down here, dark. I think the whole forehead is darker you know it's like all this portion is in shadow and this portion is in light oh that would be too difficult to fix right now but I can do that with a glaze the option that I would have is just repaint the forehead and this shadow here I think I'm gonna move it a little bit more into the into the front of the forehead okay here a little bit of a shadow too pretty subtle You know what? Uh, there's something about the background that, that I don't like. Uh, maybe it's because it's just one color and I don't have more variety here. And I think I would love to see more. 
have too much paint on my brush but I think the value here is darker pretty sure to make the face you know turn on top got too much light here always thinking that the head is something rounded I will need to get the volume paint here where I think the face is
Okay, what else? Oh, Samari so saying, how do you blend so easily? I tried, and I was so it was so hard that maybe my layers were too thick. It could be when we have, you know, a lot of paint is difficult to blend. When we don't have enough paint, it's difficult to blend. Hmm. Thank you, Fussy Dragon Books. Fussy Fussy. What is it? I think that's uh, that would be enough for today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, about the tree. I want to put more work on, on that. Yeah. But let's see. You know, uh, maybe. Be the person that he asked, asked me for the portrait at the end, he's gonna say, Hey, get rid of the tree. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh no, I mean, but definitely that's uh, between just having this thing that we see in the photograph and the tree. I, we, we, I think we all prefer a tree. Yeah, and the thing is that about color, about you know, harmony. I, the only thing I, do, I love, for example, is just this softness on the top. Uh, I, I'm speaking about values, you know, contrast here and soft here. I don't want to move the, the, the contrast that I have here all the way up here. You know, that's gonna keep the tension. That's gonna escape the tension there. I don't need that. Maybe I could just add some trees on the distance, like she's in a forest. Like uh, in a forest, like you know, on on a cloudy day where everything is just like cool, cool colors.
The photograph is not on <clears throat> in the description box, but you can find the photograph on my Patreon. It's, it's free, you know. I mean, the post I posted the, the video on Patreon, and I attach the photograph. You don't need to become a member to to see the photograph. <clears throat> I gotta save some voice for tomorrow.
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think uh, it's time to go. Oh, thank you, Wolfpack Studios. Yeah, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tree is a great, a great, great idea. Renzo is just too wide for her hand by her pointing up finger. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I gotta do something there. Okay. Mm. Okay, that's it for today. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna let it dry, and I'm gonna make some retouches. Okay. Obviously, following the client suggestions. Okay. I think I got enough for one session. From here, everything is going to be about glazes to get more color on the skin. If I want to add more color, if you know, or light up the skin or make it a little bit uh, some darker values, maybe. Okay. Touches here and there. Okay. Yeah, that will, uh, that will be for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you all. I uh, hope you like it. And yeah, don't forget to press the like button. Okay. Okay, that's it for today. Yeah. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and what is I'm, I'm gonna do? Okay, one one thing that um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna light up the skin a little bit. Okay, maybe maybe I'm thinking about uh, darkening up something on the background, like some kind of horizon. Okay, yeah, maybe. A big dark background or or like the insinuation of some trees that's gonna just it's gonna kind of go with this tree or maybe make it smaller maybe narrow yeah, let's see okay or even I could change the color on the background <sighs> somebody suggested me some green yeah that's a good idea too okay Uh, don't know yet because got so many options one thing that's gonna happen for sure in some areas of the background 
that's gonna it's gonna the color is gonna knock down it's gonna look like a little bit mute after it dries because of my background my canvas is kind of orangey in this blue and it's thicker in some areas but some areas is not that thick on those areas we, uh, we, what we're gonna see is the the color is gonna just look a little bit grayish which is I think it's gonna be okay yeah. okay I'm gonna light up the face that's kind of easy just a glaze okay maybe I could darken up here at the bottom just to keep the light here okay or I could go with the opposite that would be just dark a darker background which is gonna make all this just glow because we got light 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 this is gonna glow with a darker background yeah. so many options let's see see you all next 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 for the next painting uh, that maybe it's gonna be tomorrow maybe don't know Thank you so much for the suggestions. You know, I always appreciate your your help. Bye, everybody. Uh, maybe glaze just before class so we could see what you do on this okay I will try bye everybody